Well, let's look at how to add a list box to a form and then program that list box where the user can add items in or remove items from that list. So I'm going to choose the list box control in our toolbox and I'm going to drag out a box. So there's our list box. Let's go ahead and name it LST, I'm going to call it output. LST output. So we can use our list box for output as well since we're going to display items in it that the users entered. And if I wanted to put items in here to start with, I can come down to the items collection and uh, add in baseball, football, and hockey. You can see those are displayed there. Now if I entered enough items that extended beyond the space of our list box, we would get a scroll bar automatically on the right hand side. I'm going to create a button. The text of my button is going to be add item and we'll name it btn add. So I double click on the button. Here is our event procedure. It's going to handle btn add dot click. I'm going to dim a variable called new item as string. And we'll use an input box So there's an input box with a prompt of enter a new sport and a title of add item. And we'll check to make sure they actually added something. So if new item does not equal quote quote, then we're going to take our list box, LST output, I'm going to go to the items in that items collection there is a method called add and what I want to add is new item. So let me just run that. So I can click add item, enter a new sport, I'm going to put in badminton, add new item, basketball. And you see how I'm adding new items it, it places the new item at the bottom of the list. And there's volleyball. I'm going to come back and go to the properties for the list box and let's set that sorted property to true and then I'm going to run the application again. So now as I click add item I'm going to put in basketball and it puts it in the list where it is alphabetized. I am Polo. And Archery. So it's automatically sorting the list as I add items in. I'm going to come back and select my list box. And I'm going to set the sorted property back to being false. So it doesn't automatically alphabetize. And we'll look at the code for the button again. Instead of the add method here, there's another method called insert. And in the insert, we're going to add the index number of where we want to place the item. I'm going to put a zero, comma, new item. And that's going to now add our item at the beginning of the list. Now again, it's not going to be alphab alphabetized. And if I add in swimming, that goes to the beginning of the list. Diving. And curling. So now I'm adding items to the beginning of the list using the insert method. 
I'm going to take our add item button, copy and paste. And this is going to be remove selected item will be our text. And the name of our button will be btn remove. So I'm going to code that button. We create a variable called my item and a string. We use an if statement here. If lst output dot selected index is greater than minus one. So if nothing is selected, the selected index would be a minus one. It can't be a zero because zero would be the first line. Then my item is going to equal lst output dot selected item dot to string. So that's going to be the text of the item that is selected. And then we will simply remove the item using LST output dot items dot remove. Notice there's a remove and remove at. We'll come back and look at remove at in a minute. What I'm going to remove is the value of my item. And so what will happen is Visual Basic is going to look through our the contents of our list box, find my item, and remove that item. Actually, let's put an else clause here as well. Else message box dot show. We're going to say to the user, you must first select an item to remove or to delete. And our title will be nothing selected. Okay, so let's run this. So I have nothing selected in the list box. I click Remove Selected Item, and I'm told you must first select an item to delete. So I'm going to choose Football, click Remove Selected Item, and that disappears. Okay, let's let's remove the item using Remove At in our code. So it's another way of doing this. In this case, actually a little bit simpler. We've already checked to see if there's a uh, selected index. So here, what I can do is I can remove At. And what I want to do is remove that index number. And I could simply choose LST output dot selected index, put that in my parentheses. I would no longer need that dim statement. I'm not going to use my items. I can comment that out. And now let me run this again. So if, again, if nothing is selected, Click the remove button, it says I must first select an item. This time I'll choose baseball, and that deletes it. And there's hockey. Well, let's add another button. This time we're going to clear the list. So the text of my button is going to be clear list. We'll call it BTN clear. We'll code that button. And it's probably a good idea in case the user accidentally clicks this button to verify they want to clear the list. So I'm going to create a variable as a dialog result. Result is going to equal message box. Dot show. And we'll ask, are you sure you want to delete all the items? We we'll have a title of confirm. And we'll use yes, no for our buttons. 
I'm going to carry this down the next line so you can see the entire thing. And then we'll have an if statement if result equals dialog result dot yes, then I want to clear my list boxes items. So I'm going to say lst output dot items and it has a clear method as part of the items collection and that will clear all the items in the list. So let's test this. So I click clear list and ask if I want to delete all the items. If I say no, nothing happens. But if I say yes, it clears the list and I can then add new items into the list. Let's add one more button. The text of this button is going to be how many items. And I'm going to call it BTN count. And we'll code this button. We're going to dim XYZ as an integer. Going to equal lsd output dot items dot count. Count is a property of the items list. I know the property by the little icon here, the Rolodex with the hand in front of the count, where the method's going to have a purple box. Then we'll bring up the message box. There are currently, I'm going to concatenate to that xyz dot two string and concatenate items in the list. We'll give it a title account. So let's test this. How many items? There are currently three items in the list. If I add a couple items, And I'm now told there are five items in the list. So in working with ListBox, we've looked at the selected item and the selected index properties in terms of determining what the user has, has chosen in the ListBox. We added items using the add method for the items collection and the insert method. We removed items using the remove method and the remove at method for the items collection. We use the clear method of items to clear the list and we use the count property to count the number of items in the list. And we also saw that we could use the sorted property to automatically alphabetize the list.